Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to this YouTube channel. It's your guy Igor here. Today's video is dedicated to my carnivore body transformation. I decided to make this video because I just met one of you guys on the street as a subscriber and people were asking me about how did I lose so much weight? What did I do to change so much? Because, you know, I lost 88 pounds in six months and for, every, for a lot of people it's it's impossible. So I've been on this crazy diet, which is a carnivore diet, which is basically an opposite of veganism. So if you if you think about what carnivore is, let me explain to you. It's basically when you are eating meat only. So it started off as an experiment. It started off as an OMAD intermittent fasting diet by just eating everything. Slowly it became a meat-based diet where I was eating 19% of meat and a little bit of salad, but then it evolved into what I call and what everyone else is calling a carnivore diet. And right now I even canceled out dairy, so I don't have as much dairy anymore. Sometimes on occasion, you know, because it's uh, the dairy can be a little bit addictive and you can actually overeat that stuff. And honestly, I feel the most optimal health uh, right now. I'm in the best shape of my lifetime. I got to this shape, like I'm almost 35 years now, and uh, this is the only time when I actually got into shape throughout my entire lifetime. Guys, I wanted to say what, uh, let me show you the, the transformation. You know, uh, how I look right now, yeah, I just went to the gym. I haven't had my breakfast yet. And honestly, I'm going to be running around showing houses today for real estate with my clients. I'm busy XP Realty, Realtor in Calgary. But anyways, I'm going to be running around and I don't know whether I should have a breakfast before going out because I'm absolutely not hungry. Craziest part about all this diet is it's so satiating. So you don't really feel hungry. People are like, Igor, uh, how do you not eat? Like, you don't, I don't, I don't have those same hunger signals. Like, I used to eat every three hours. Like, I would, like, I would be pissed off, actually. I would be angry. I would be, like, irritated without food. And now it's like, food is non-existent. Like, I don't, I, I'm not hungry. A lot of people are thinking I actually did some kind of gastro bypass or something. Okay, I'm going to show you how I look now. Let me remove this t-shirt here and just don't main for the gym I started so okay first of all uh, let me show you a little bit and then I'm going to tell you more about this diet how crazy it is why it's so good you see I started building even some muscle I started bulking up some muscle as well you know no uh, no supplements no performance enhancing performance enhancing anything so that's my natural state and after entire life of being a fat guy, uh, this is how I look now. And actually, I'm pretty happy about it. I'm pretty excited because I finally, you know, go to a, a best shape of my lifetime. And I'm still going with this diet. I want to see where it brings me. You know, if I'm going to get my six pack by summer, I already have some abs. You know, I already have a four pack. I want to have a six pack by summer. <laughs> Let's see what's going to happen. But anyways, guys, so I changed my body drastically to what I was, 88 pounds down. And now I actually started gaining weight. But my waist circumference is not getting bigger. Here's another crazy thing about this diet. Because you are like, okay guys, because I'm eating, a, first of all, the bathroom is out of the question. I used to go to a bathroom to, it was irritable bowel syndrome that I had and no doctors told me that, like I was thinking it's irritable bowel syndrome, but I think it was just the diet that I had. So anyways, first of all, uh, I go to the bathroom once a day. Today I haven't even gone yet. Usually it's in the morning, but anyways, guys, long story short is like uh, most of the food that you eat on the carnivore diet actually gets digested. So it doesn't like explode you from inside. Another part about it is you're eating a lot of protein. So a lot of protein, a lot of uh, saturated fats, of, of course, a lot of healthy fats too. There's lots of sci uh, study behind it. I don't want to go into researches and papers that people are doing. I just hope that there is a lot of influencers online and a lot of people are into this diet. I hope they, they bring the case up and do the proper research for that. But anyways, long story short, your metabolic rate changes. So you know, I, I'm going to a gym and I see a lot of people jogging, they are doing cardio, they're sweating, but they are as bloated as they were when they started. Me, 
when I work out, I can literally sleep between sets if I want to. Like I'm just sitting there, watching on my phone, listening to music, relaxing be between the sets because I want to perform the maximum on the next set to build more muscle. So first of all, my strength went up, I lost a lot of weight, and now my metabolic rate went up. What means is that once you start building more muscle, this muscle needs to eat and it burns more energy. So I naturally burn more fat while doing absolutely nothing while everybody else has to be like jogging, running and everything and everything because they don't have enough muscle mass to do what I can do now because of building more muscle on this crazy diet. So it changes your metabolic rate and it satiates you faster. Now guys, I had arthritis on my on my pinky toe there and I also had uh, some something happening in my knees. My knees were bad my entire life. I couldn't even squat. I was like, uh, you know, doing half squats with heavy weights but everyone else is doing like deeper squats and I couldn't even squat down. In India when I was on a train they have those toilets where you cannot sit, like there is a hole on the ground. I was on a train for one and a half day and I tried not to use it and I tried and then I was like, okay, there is no freaking way. I have to use it. One and a half day of not pooping is like, uh, yeah, I came to a stage where it's like, I gotta go now. Uh, it was it was an India, I was still on meat. I was gain, I, I was experimenting with carnivore diet at that time, uh, you know, so I was trying to do, I still, uh, my my gut was adapting to it. I still, I, still, I, I had to go through, uh, I had a constipation and I panicked and everyone told me I would have a constipation, but that's absolutely no issue. I don't have, right now I don't have any fiber, anything, like absolutely no fruits, no insulin response, nothing. It's just meat and meat and uh, meat and fat and a lot of fat. That's what I eat. But anyways, I had to use the bathroom and guess what guys I, I my knees are bad and i twisted my knees so badly i i barely could walk in india for about like one week and a half almost two weeks and i was pissed off i was pissed off because i was convinced by my relatives in india because my wife is from india to take the train to save money not to go to the airplane but now with my knee paining and i'm not really enjoying the vacation as much i was pissed off that you know i didn't pay a little bit extra to have a proper toilet on the airplane but anyways long story short i don't have anything to show you how i squat but trust me on this i am going very deep i'm squatting down deeper to earth than most North Americans and you know we can do that like I'm squatting like a Gopnik from Russia you know I'm actually originally from Ukraine and we did have Gopniks when I was growing up as well so yeah it's a it's like an Asian squat. I can squat, I can sit, and I can rest like that. I can play with my kids, I can lift objects. But it's like, it's like a super ability for me. It's like something from a fantasy movie that was never true, but now it's true for me. So for me, it's insane health benefits. My inflammation is gone, you know, guys. And uh, my irritable bowel syndrome is gone. And I'm looking way better. Busted my lip a little bit. I look, I'm looking way better now, guys, and slimmer and I can do pull-ups for the first time in my life when, I, when I'm about to become 35 years old next month, guys. So I do 30 pull-ups. I couldn't do freaking one pull-up in my entire life. How about that? Yeah, it's, it's crazy. My wrists were the biggest part of my body. I couldn't even hang long enough. And you're uh, not even taking pull-ups. It's, uh, yeah, it, it, it's crazy. It's insane diet. And the most interesting part is it's sustainable. That's that's what I like the most about it. It's like, I'm still thinking about it. I'm still changing my diet. I'm right now literally eating, like my wife is already making fun of me. She's like, Igor, what are you eating tonight? I'm like, steak. She's like, okay, you're eating steak? I'm like, yeah, steak. Tomorrow I eat steak. So after tomorrow, I'm gonna to have steak as well and some eggs maybe. And well, why not? Some pork as well. I eat steak, I eat pork. And this is my entire diet is I used to eat mushrooms, but recently I had an issue with the mushrooms, something uh, really upsetting with my gut. And I was like, no more mushrooms for me. Um, I, uh, I'm trying to be even, even no mushrooms now. So now I'm going without uh, no salads, no fiber, no mushrooms, no fruits, nothing, just only meat based. And I'm slowly canceling out dairy. And now I'm also canceling out pepper. I'm just experimenting just to have meat and salt 
and that's basically it and it's the best freaking diet ever my body is changing even more and I'm getting closer to my six-pack dream that I always had my since my childhood. I was like, hey, that would be awesome to have that. And anyways, guys, it's pretty cool. I love this diet. And I hope if you are on the same diet, share your stories. Let me know what you think. Guys, and answer the, my subscriber question. What did I eat like yesterday? Okay, if you want to know what I ate yesterday. Yesterday, I actually was going to eat one time, but I ate two times. Because in carnivore, you don't really have to control how many times you eat. So anyways, I had a steak and two eggs with a little bit of bacon. After that, in the night, I was like, I don't know. I did my insane leg workout. I just busted like I, I, was, I did so much of leg that I couldn't walk. So I was like, yeah, it would be dumb for me not to eat enough protein because like I didn't have, I had a small steak. It's not a big enough steak. So it would be dumb enough for me not to have enough protein. I'm not even hungry. So I had some sardines at night. That's it. Uh, before sleeping that's that's all I ate just to answer the question what did I eat yesterday that's what I ate what I had today is a cup of coffee that's the only uh, only thing that is like um, plant-based what I have is coffee because there is some research actually saying that you know it kind of increased neurons in your brain and stuff but you do your own research on that it's just that that's the only plant in a coffee is the only plant that I actually have so far just with that and canceling out everything else I feel freaking fantastic and it's awesome and honestly guys uh, yeah I didn't really want to share too much on YouTube but because people were like hey can you share me this story I was like I'm going to share with you guys you share your stories in the comments down below if that's what you're doing let me know how it works out for you and let me know if you want to see more videos to go into detail and uh, about this topic because I'm, I'm just doing it for myself I didn't want to make, put it on YouTube even but because people start meeting me on the streets and asking me what did I do I was like okay I'll, I'll share it's not a big secret it's not like i'm trying to sell you something or hide something from you that's what's going on see you guys in the next video bye for now